and introducing the first half of our main event Saturday night from Hartley Pool, England, the undefeated knockout artist and the reigning, defending WBO Women's Middleweight Champion of the World, Savannah, the silent assassin, Marshall. And her opponent, from Flint, Michigan, USA, the two-time Olympic gold medalist and the undefeated reigning, defending WBC, WBA, IBF, and Ring Magazine women's middleweight champion, Clarissa the Quote Shields. So it is happening, the fight that everyone is, is literally talking about. Dimitri, I'll come straight to you first. Tell me why you think your fighter wins on Saturday night. Clarissa is a generational athlete. She has proven that much as an amateur, as a professional. She envisioned the greatness of women's boxing when she was a kid growing up in Flint, which is one of the most challenged cities in the United States. As a little girl, she made a choice every day to go to the gym, to stay away from all the negative influences, and to become a two-time Olympic gold medalist. Never before done in the history of the sport. As an amateur, Clarissa is 77 and one, with more than 10 knockouts. Savannah Marshall also had a good amateur career with zero knockouts. So pound for pound, Clarissa, in a pro debut, fought French on Cruz, who's the unified super middleweight champion of the world. Ever since thereafter, she's fought a very high level of competition. Savannah Marshall also had her, had her journey and had her path to professional, to professional title. And to this stage, she has scored 10 knockouts as a professional. And obviously, the level of competition has been very different from Clarissa's and Savannah's. So Savannah is a good puncher. However, judging by her amateur and professional career, I don't know if that's a true real number compared to Clarissa's. And we're going to see that on Saturday night. Ben, you'll want to counter that with your fighter? Yeah, I mean, first of all, Clarissa Shields, you can't argue with Clarissa Shields what she's achieved. She truly is, at the moment, the greatest woman of all time. I really do believe that. What she's achieved in the Olympics, what she's achieved professionally. But this fight is a massive fight because at least half of the people in there believe that Savannah Marshall is going to win on Saturday night. And that comes from hard work. That comes from an unbelievable relationship with Peter Fury and Mick Hennessy, who, who helps me with her. And the way she's developed during the professional game has been nothing short of astonishing. We believe she's now the biggest name in UK female boxing. We believe after Saturday night, she's going to be the biggest star in women's boxing. But this is an incredible fight. And for me, if anyone says that they can predict what's going to happen on Saturday night, they are lying. They are completely... It's one of those fights, isn't it? You chop and change all the time on. Without a doubt. Both fighters believe, without a doubt, they're going to win. Both camps believe, without doubt, they're going to win. But I've spoke to Adam about this. We have no idea. No idea. Absolutely no idea. And, and I, was, um, I was around, you know, 10 years ago. We go back to 2012 again, before the Olympics in May when they met... The only defeat ever for Clarissa through all the amateur fights, all the amazing professional fights and achievements she's had. Savannah Marshall inflicted it. And finally, we find out a decade on. And uh, we all know Savannah's story and, and how she had to rebuild her confidence. And she went out to America and came back, hooked up with Peter Fury, and it all is going right for her. Last couple of years have been incredible. She stands as the world middleweight champion. But... She's got to beat Clarissa Shields again, and she's got to do it in front of everybody on Saturday night. The O2 is going to be packed. The world's going to be watching. Can she do it again as a professional, or is Clarissa Shields really the greatest of all time? She certainly is, as Ben has said, she, uh, unbelievable, unbelievable performances, superstar qualities. She's transcended boxing. But Savannah Marshall hits extraordinarily hard, and we cannot pick this. One thing I will say about Savannah Marshall is we have not seen that level of power. She's an incredible boxer, but that level of power before in, in the sport. And when we talk about women's boxing transcending, going to the mainstream, Savannah Marshall is what we need. Savannah Marshall selling out arenas. Savannah Marshall is a local superstar. Savannah, uh, Savannah Marshall is now a national hero. We've not had that before in women's boxing. We've not seen that level of interest. We've not seen a ticket seller like her before in women's boxing. And uh, 
that's what makes this so special and timing is everything. Timing is everything and this is timing for Savannah and uh, it's, it's, it's going to be unbelievable on Saturday I night. And, and I believe this fight will break all Sky Sports viewing figures. Well, I'll come back, I'll come back to you guys in just a sec. But let's get the fighters in. Carissa, we, we saw you five weeks ago when the fight was due to take place first hand around and you seem pretty confident then but there's something about you this week. You seem even more confident. Is that the case? I think uh, when you when you work hard and you put in extra work with more time and you know that you've done your homework and that you are very prepared, that's what builds confidence. People have fake confidence to where they don't work hard, to where they just show up just to sell the fight. But it's like, I know what I'm capable of and I know what I'm going to do Saturday. There seems to be an air of instability uh, around Clarissa. Could, could she come up short on Saturday night? Is she going to come up short on Saturday night, Savannah? 100%, yeah. I think she does, yeah. She comes up, she comes up short. I believe I'm the better boxer than Clarissa. I believe I, I believe I always have been, and I cannot wait. Saturday come and couldn't come quick enough. We had a 12-week camp, five-week pushback, and I, I, I'm just itching to get in there now. How was that five-week pushback for you? Because I, th I think you said you weren't sure how it was going to go, how long it was going to feel. But what have you used that time for? Well, if anything, it, it's, it's helped ticket sales. It's just one of them things that can't be helped. You've just got to get on with it. Um, and it's, it's, just, it's just made me more hungrier, really. Clarissa, what, what sort of game plan are you expecting Savannah and Peter Fury to bring on Saturday? Um, of course, she gonna, we're going to talk about the punching power, so we're not going to leave it out there. She's going to try to come out there and land, and land in big shots. Um, she may want to fight on the inside, she may want to fight on the outside, but she wants to just be able to touch me and land. Um, that's really all I see, but it's a boxing match. I may get hit in there, but if she thinks she's not going to get hit, she's mistaken. If she thinks she's still a better boxer than me from 10 years ago, she's mistaken. But we're going to let her think whatever she want to think and do whatever she want to do because I'm going to adapt and do whatever I have to do to win and make the fight easy. This week... You've been talking about knockouts. We haven't really heard you mention that before. It shows your intent. Savannah, what do you reckon to that? Yeah, I reckon she can try. She can try knock me out. She can try at me. But if you've got it, you've got it. If you haven't, you haven't. It is I, what it is. That's not true. You fought against girls 3 and 25, 11 and 75, um, 11 wins, 75 losses, 3 and 25. You post and knock them out. No lie, you're supposed to knock those girls out, but when you fight against 24-0, 10 knockouts, 21-0, 10 knockouts, girls of, that, girls of that caliber, it's very hard to knock them out. Why is and it that's why it's, it's going to be hard for you to knock me out. Why is it very hard to knock them out? What do you mean, why is it hard? Because they're you competitive. Land, if you land on someone, you hurt them. If you land on a bum, down. if you well, land on a bum. What? And that means you, you land on a bum. Out. I mean, Have I been knocked out? I'm not talking about you. Have about well, I fought opponents. against other world champions yeah. who had and knockouts you like you, them, and I haven't been knocked out. them, they go down. If you land on them, and you've got you a landing on office, bums, girl. They're not going to go anywhere. You're landing on bums. What, and that means that you can't go down? I would love to see you do it Saturday. You couldn't knock, you couldn't knock Ema Kozen out. You couldn't knock Hannah no, Rankin not, out. You couldn't knock Ema Kozen out. Tell us why. You couldn't knock Hannah Rankin out. Let's just put it this way. Stop it. 12 and 0 as a pro, and yeah. you haven't learned to finish anyone. Say it again, That's baby. 12, 12 and 0. Yeah, I'm about to be 13 learned. and 0. You haven't about to be, learned. I'm about to, to be 13 anyone? and 0. Are I'm you worried. changing the subject? It's, it's okay. You can say but whatever you want to say, but I'm better than you. I've been better than you since I was 17. Why couldn't you beat me then? Didn't I win the Olympics? We're talking about that. We're yeah, talking we are. About me and you. If we're going to talk about something that happened 10 yeah, years ago, we're going to talk about from, the Olympics. We're going where from I won not competing after losing. To be so, I, so I lost. To Olympic Hold games. on. I lost. Control it. I lost. 2000, 2012. Steady. Two months later, won the Olympics. Then, 2014 World Championships. You were there, sweetheart. Gold medal again. Five days back to back. Walk through them. My bad. 2016 World Championships. We there again, boo. Oh, my God. Not Clarissa got a world a gold again. And then the Olympics, you, oh, my God. Was she there? Yes. Watching me be gold medalists again. And you better than me? How? You cannot live off something that happened 10 years ago. And we both been pro five years, sis. I'm a 12-time world champ. Oh, my God. Right. Stop. Where we at now? Stop. Stop. Let's be Let's, 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 let's do it. Do you haven't let out to finish anyone? 
I'm going to finish a, you. Wow. That's I, questionable. I'm going to finish that you. That is questionable. I don't, I don't like no you that much. You, look, you had one hard training camp this camp, and then you think you ready? I've always thought I was ready. Why you ain't signed a contract in 2018, then you look ready? Look at this, Clarissa. Look, look at, at this. this. It does not matter. 2018. We could have fought belt. You want to be a world champ. You want to be a world champ. Am right? World champ? You want to be a world, a world champ? You a world champ now, but was you a world champ in 2018? I wasn't a world champ. 19. Look how we've built it 20. up. Look how we've built 21. it up. You was the one brain cell in your head. Look at this. Right. Five years ago, you want to be a world, world champ so bad, pennies. but when, it, but when somebody sends you the offer, you, but you turn it down. I did check. Five, five years on a world title. Congratulations. But I got, but I got 12 of them. 12, over, 12 over years. Three 12 and all. I haven't learned to finish anyone. I finished two girls and you're going to be the uh, third. Okay. <laughs> you're going to be the third. Knockouts don't matter. Wins matter. And, and then you know that. I'm Wins matter. Hello? Wins matter. You're contradicting yourself. What's Wins going on? Wins matter, but you keep talking about knockouts. Why is it not about knockouts? One minute you're 17. Why is it not about knockouts, though, girl? You're in Kazakhstan win the world title. I'm going to beat but you whether at? I knock you out or not. I'm going to beat you. Control it. Self-control. I'm going to beat you. Look at her trying to be like a school teacher. Warning. Self-control. Are you, are you angry? Savannah. Are you angry? Savannah, Clarissa yeah, saying. Yeah, are you angry? Savannah, Clarissa saying knockouts not, don't not matter. Not even a little bit. Clarissa saying that knockouts don't matter. They matter to you. Oh, 100 percent. Yes. Cost they do. Mm-hmm. Are they easy have an early night? Or are you going to out for two rounds? Are you going to knock Clarissa out? I'm going to wreck Clarissa. She knows this. I'm going to wreck Clarissa. You going to what? Hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could understand more of what you say, but all right. First, you just said it's going to be the toughest fight of your life. Then it's going to be a knockout. Then you're going to knock me out in two minutes. Once said I was going to knock you out. What? Heaven, when oh my I God! Said, I'm gonna is you sitting here lying out. in front of these people? What it is? Somebody sent me the clip where she said she gonna knock me out in less than two rounds in two minutes. Oh, I see it, it with my own Get eyes. Cause we'll be here all I night. I see it with my own eyes. Is that the against what it is? Girl, you it's said it over and over in your red. Girl. Are you gonna knock me out? You're gonna knock me out because I want. Asking, because I want. In the back of your mind, I want you to stand you are petrified you that I'm, I'm gonna knock you out. I'm not. And that's why you keep I'm not. asking. Why you keep I'm going not. on because and on? I want you to that's stand why? to my face. That's why you keep you saying. You wanna throw don't matter. Hands. Knock out don't matter. Bully. Well, no matter what you're on your back, looking at the light. I'm a bully, and you and and then you knock out. Yeah. So I'm a bully, huh? Well, because I stand Clarissa. up to you and then you get intimidated? Clarissa, you've tried to intimidate at least 50% of the people in this room. There is, bully mentality. Like, what? there is a lot yeah. of needle between you two, Stop. undeniably, it's a life. lot of needle. There's going to be very high emotion in the O2 arena. Clarissa, you're essentially going into the lion's den. Does that bother you at all? Call me David in the lion's den. I'm going to walk out with her. I'm going to walk out with her head just like this. I'm not worried about Savannah Marshall. I came over here. I'm a star in America. Don't, don't get it twisted. I didn't have to come over here. I signed, soon as Eddie Hearn said he didn't have Savannah Marshall no more, we started talking to boxing and we said, let's make this fight happen. Nobody was ever running from her. Nobody was scared to come over here and fight her. We was like, let's do it, because me and my team know I'm about that. And, I, and I'm going to get busy on Saturday night. And she knows that too. So while you doing all this talking, you better come in there with that, with that smoke. And you better punch as hard as you say you can because if you ain't got no punching power, oh my God, it's going to be a hard night for you. All right. Very, very Marissa, hard. Marissa, let, let's have your final words. Look at Savannah and say what you want to say. I don't got to look at her. She a bum. And I'm going to show everybody on Saturday that it's skills to this. It's levels. I'm not about to play with her. She think I'm still 17. Girl, I'm 27. You about to learn. You about to get schooled. I'm about to Sugar Ray Leonard her. Savannah? I haven't Sugar Ray Leonard on your What do you want to say, Clarissa, Savannah? Please. What do you want to say? Sugar Ray Leonard, he Olympic gold medalist, unlike you. We're back at the Olympics. Yeah, because we're talking about the amateur loss. Let's talk oh, about yeah. the Olympics. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? She's so mad. How can you talk about the Olympics? It. She's so mad. She don't Olympic gold medal. Let's have, let's have your final you know words. What? Your final words. After, after after I beat you, I'm going to go and put Olympic gold medal on your neck. And then you can have the 2012 one. Go ahead. You want it. Oh, I want the necklace. I'm after the necklace. You want. Now you, now you want the want necklace, the necklace. necklace. but it's fake. Here we are. She want the necklace, but it's fake. So. All right. All right. She want to be the goat so bad. I'm going to buy you a necklace after the fight. It's going to say silent assassin. Shut your ass up. What do you want to say? Final words. We, uh, there's nothing left to say. I can't wait for Saturday. Let's yeah, just get I it on. Yeah. Mm. Love you too, boo. <laughs> Pretty heated, Dimitri.
pretty heated, and it is like Leonard Hearns, if you would. And Clarissa is like a Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, being an Olympic gold medalist, being an American star. Ben talked about filling out arenas. Uh, Clarissa has filled out arenas. In my life as a fighter, and being a fan of boxing, I've never seen an American star in the peak of their career willing to travel across the pond to fight their rival in their country. And that is what Clarissa is doing, and that is why she's the GOAT. That's why she has done what she has done, because that's who she is. She's a fighter. And the reason why this fight is being broadcast on Sky, which we're very grateful for, and on ESPN in the United States, is a, is a sentiment of, of how big this fight is. It, it is such a hard fight to call, Adam. What do you think it's going to come down to? It's such a hard fight to call. I just want to echo what Todd said earlier and, and Ben, the fact that everybody's worked together to get this on. This whole show, I mean, we've got obviously Matchroom with uh, Frank Smith here with uh, Alicia Baumgardner. We've had um, Todd up here, top rank, our partners as well as boxer. And to have Dimitri over, obviously we covered a lot of Dimitri's career. He's a really good fighter. And it's great to be working together now again and to have the opportunity to bring Clarissa over. You know, we've got to know her over the last few months when she came to Cardiff when she came to Newcastle and yeah, she stopped traffic in Cardiff she's magnetic she's a wonderful personality as well as a fighter you know we know Savannah we, we've we've been we've been with Savannah for a long long time and I just think this is fantastic that the best are fighting the best I've said to Ben already I want a rematch even a trilogy I and Clarissa will laugh and say she'll make it easy Savannah will say she'll knock knock her out but I think this is going to be a really really good fight remember they've only got 10 rounds it's two minute rounds not three minutes it's 20 minutes it's short it's sweet enjoy it because it's going to be top top level stuff and I just hope it's as good as this whole promotion and that we can do it again it is, it is a fantastic card from top to bottom um, let's just open up the questions to the floor I believe we have some that you'd like to ask our fighters where are you Melissa Zad here for Into Boxing um, I've got two questions for both boxers starting with Clarissa what does the profile of this event mean for women's sport and more specifically for women's boxing? It means a lot. You know, right now women's boxing is booming here in the UK and they're giving us the equality like with the with the good pay, the great the great venue, the great exposure. Um, I've gained at least 200 thousand followers up on Instagram and all over my social networks and um, it's just making women's boxing better but it's showing that when you make the best fights and you got, you know, people from the opposite sides of the world who are world champs who got a little spice in there that you know you can have uh, great in women's boxing. And Savannah? Yeah, I think this fight is absolutely massive. For me, it's one of the, it is the biggest fight out there in female boxing. Um, and I, I do believe because it's uh, the UK versus America, the clash in personalities, I think it's all added to it. And I'm, I'm just grateful to be a part of it. I've got another question. Um, Clarissa, what does it mean for you to be inspiring the next generation of female boxers? Um, I think a representation is everything. Like I didn't, I may have not had role models to look up to when I was in the amateurs, but, but my dad told me that um, Muhammad Ali had a whole lot of kids, but only his daughter took after him, Layla. So when my dad said that, it just kind of registered to me. It was like, oh, okay. If Layla took after her dad, I want to take after my dad. That's why I started boxing. I didn't start boxing for me at first. It was just make my dad happy to live so he can live some of his life through me because he had been in prison a couple of times. And when he got out, um, he, he probably still could have boxed, but he was like 45, you know, and he was still in good shape. But when he told me that he loved boxing and that, you know, um, that's what he wanted to do with his life, and he would have never went to prison if he would have boxed, I just kind of thought he was telling me, you know, I want you to box, you know, to make me happy. And I guess, I, I, so I signed up. And from there, I think that now other girls see me and they want to be like me, whether they want to be loud or quiet. I'm always telling them to telling all the girls, like, be you, you know, but just don't let nobody change you and go in there and fight your best, you know, every, every fight. And that's just what I um, think I represent. Thank you. And Savannah, what does it mean to you? It means everything. I was once that girl looking up to the likes of Nicola Adams, Tasha Jonas, um, and now they're, they're commentating on Saturday night. So it's come full circle. I know that there'll be young girls, even young boys sat there in the, in the arena watching, and hopefully they'll be inspired uh, to take up the sport, and that's something that I'm really proud of. Uh, Tom Wall from Give Me Sport here. I've got a couple of questions for Ben. 
You mentioned that you expect this to break Sky Sports records. Obviously, you've had some big fights under the boxer banner already, like, you know, Khan Brook, Eubank Williams. Can you just elaborate on that? I think why I say we broke records with the, with the Eubank Williams fight, this, this fight's going to be available to everyone. It's on Sky Showcase, it's on Sky Main Event, it's on Sky Action. We've never had a rivalry like this. This is iconic. The, when they turned over, they didn't believe, they had a dream to box, but they never had a dream to be superstars because it just wasn't possible. Now it is possible. They're paved the way. And the interest in this fight and what we've seen over the past week, the numbers, the way this is tracking, both fights, the whole card, we've never seen anything like it. And it's bound to break records. And to do it with a women's fight, that's a special moment for the sport. And with everything that's been going on, this is, this is a groundbreaking moment for, for everyone involved. And testament to the past five, ten years of investment into this sport is, uh, is culminating on Saturday. And it's, uh, the interest is, is another level. Sorry, if I can add to what you're saying, Ben. And it's fantastic that we have this rivalry and I have a lot of respect for Samantha Marshall and for what she has accomplished. But just for objectivity and for the truth, Clarissa has been the first female athlete to do things that I've never done before. And she is the driving force of this fight. Even though she's from the United States, she's the first woman to win two Olympic gold medals. She's the first woman in the United States to headline on premium cable network television, which was in her second professional fight on Showtime. And she is the first woman to have several rivalries. The biggest women's fight of all time prior to this was, was with Christina Hammer, former world champion. And Clarissa just went to a different level on that night and uh, was like the Matrix. It was truly incredible. And this is another rivalry, and we are grateful for the rivalry and grateful for the support I of think Boxer. I think Savannah's a, a massive driving force in this, which is why it's in the UK. She and is. it's why it's in the home of women's boxing, which is London. This could have been anywhere in the world, but it's here because we have a superstar that could come to the O2 300 miles from her hometown and have 15, 20,000 people wanting to buy tickets and that's because of Savannah Marshall. Savannah Marshall is definitely a big part of this. Adam Smith is a big part of this, who's a big boxing guy and who loves the sport of boxing and who foresaw to give us this platform for women's boxing and for Clarissa. And, and, and it's the right work with you and the fact that all these promoters came together. Another guy that I want to give a shout out to is Marshall Kaufman, who is um, uh, uh, the, the promoter of... Uh, um, Baumgartner, sorry. <laughs> um, and he worked very hard for her to get here. So we're very grateful for all of us to come together and to do this, and it's going to be a great night. Okay. Harry Davies of the Mirror here, just a question for Savannah. I see when uh, Clarissa's even kind of trash talking you, you're almost smiling and laughing a bit. Do you think in a different world you two could maybe be friends? I'd like to think we could be. <laughs> <laughs> Should we grab a coffee after? <laughs> Same question to you, Chris. Uh, maybe not, or? Um, the thing is, this is the thing. In order to get respect, you have to get respect. In order for someone to be kind to you, you have to be kind to them. This is what I learned in my anger management class when I was a kid, okay? <laughs> so, the fact that she's been mean to me, I've been mean to her, right? So after the fight, if she continues to be mean to me, be mean. I'll be mean to her. I'll be mean. If you fight that way against me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... When was know. I mean? It does not matter when it was. See, that's the thing. You like, it happened yesterday. It don't matter. I don't care if it was a year ago. You did it. You said it. It, ma what? it matters. What are you going on you about? You did it and you, you said it and it matters. Way. Someone asked you a question in 15 and, minutes and, and then I'm later, answering it and then, on? and then here you come. And what? then I answer, what are you I'm, going I'm, I'm on answering about the question, and then here you come. He wants to ask you. Will we be friends? I guess no. And, and, I'm, and I'm about to get to it, but you then you're not talking. In Listen, you, you want to be friends after the fight? If you want to be merch, yeah, we could be best pals. If you, if you we can, can be, be the nice, new and Hannah Rankin, if you can be nice, yeah, then you Hannah can Rankin is just such a better person than you. Doesn't make sense. Don't don't even tell my. That's my best friend. How about my friend? Yeah, that, 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 that's my best friend for sure. You, you can be best friends with April. That's your best friend. You see what you started now? Now you ask that. On the subject of it, well, I've got a question for Clarissa. So, Clarissa, you haven't oh been knocked out, but you have been on the canvas. <sighs> so, do you not think your chin is just a little bit questionable? What'd you ask me, April? About your chin and being questionable. You have been on the floor. You got dropped by Anna Gabriels. So, yes. Anna punches I'm, a lot harder. I'm so happy you watched my fights, April, because you should, and you need to watch more. <laughs> but, but what I will say is, 
Um, it was a flash knockdown. It was my first time going to 160. I had a hard time making 160 coming to 68. I didn't take my diet serious and I got dropped. But guess what? I still won that fight unanimously, you guys, after being dropped the first round. Congrats to so the champ. Congrats. It wasn't the fact Congrats that Anna champ. caught you with a good shot. And I haven't been dropped since. You struggled at 160. It was the fact that it was a flash knock. But well, Hannah Gables is a bad say? heavyweight right Why now. Did you just say she caught Hannah you Gables is that bad. Hannah yeah, Gables is a bad heavyweight right now. So that shows you that even though she was fighting at 54, she's a bigger girl and she's a bigger puncher. What are you talking about? You're a natural Watch girl. Watch boxing. You shouldn't even be at middleweight. You should be at super well weight. Savannah's too Ooh. big for you. Too strong for you. And she's going to knock you out on Saturday night. April, let me go ahead and tell you something, baby girl. You have no belts. You have no titles, and you already got your ass whooped. Um, you already got your ass whooped already in your professional career. So what you need to do is focus on yourself and know that this beef is between her and I. You should just shut your little mouth and focus on beating the girl that Hold beat it. you. Here we go again. No, and fight okay. your way to a world control. title because guess what? In four control. fights, I was world again. champ. Oh, oh. In four on. fights, I was world champ. Four fights. Just so when you the when MMA, you can do what I do, talking about so you can do what I do. Shut up, memory. April. So you can do what I do. I'm shut up. Trying to get a word in that I don't know what you just said, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Anna, what I'm I think like. I think, ladies, we're gonna leave it there. I think I, so. I think Savannah Marshall's gonna uh, knock you out. Like, girl. Ben, like, final God, words. Take some estrogen. Final words from you, Ben. I mean, that has just set everything up rather yeah. nicely, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, respect to both fighters. Indeed. They are both uh, trailblazers. They both achieved so much. What Clarissa has done in the sport is truly remarkable. The fact that Savannah Marshall can be, can be up here and, and this be considered a 50-50 fight is testament to her as well. We've got an incredible fight on our hands. Um, I want to thank everyone involved. I cannot believe we're two days away from this. Um, it's going to be a special, special night, and I think it'll be a rivalry that the sport remembers forever. Absolutely. Thank you, chaps, for your time. Thank you, ladies. Uh, we're going to take a minute and pause for the head-to-heads. -head.